So today we're going to be showing you uh, in a bit more detail how to manipulate the cervical spine, the neck. So this is for somebody who's got uh, pain in the neck, whether that's acute or chronic. And in terms of for safety considerations, there is a potential risk um, in some cases of causing harm with this manipulation. So you need to be uh, aware of the risks and who to do it to and who not to do it to. So particularly anyone who's at risk of stroke is somebody you don't want to do it to. So the idea behind it is you've got vertebrates stack on, on each other and if the joint isn't in the ideal position um, or is irritated for any reason, then manipulating that joint can allow the muscles which attach to the joint to relax and can relieve neck pain. It can be quite dramatic. So showing you on my, on my model here, um, the vertebra, the size of the vertebra, the transverse processes are the bones that stick out on the side of the neck here. So I want to have my contact, so my the opposite of the inside of my knuckle part against that transverse process. So the direction my, of my thrust is going to be um, against that transverse process. So that's what I'm moving really, that transverse process, not just generally the head. So I find which, whichever level that I feel that there's a restriction at, and here I feel it's higher up in the neck. So I have my knuck, the inside of my uh, MCP joint on the back of the T transverse process. And then in order to make the manipulation safe, I don't want to just have a big sharp manipulation when the, when the neck is very loose. So I want to bind the neck, I want to make the neck uh, a bit less mobile uh, and a bit less movement going through it so the manipulation is as safe as possible. So I flex the neck in order to take out some movement in that direction. I side bend the neck, so that side bending towards me, and then I rotate the neck. And there I feel a bind. So at that bind, now I feel it won't go any further. And it's at this point that the manipulation will occur. So if you come in a bit closer. So I get the patient to take a deep breath in and breathe out. And the breath out allows the parasympathetic nervous system to kick in and the patient to relax in order for the manipulation to work. And you want to have a thrust in the direction that you want the TP to move. So in this direction, you, that's where you apply your force um, and it's a short sharp thrust so it's this kind of motion so flex side bend rotate and then short sharp thrust through and that will release the joint 